A lot of states have been discussing pay transparency, which allows a person to see the actual salary of the job that they're applying for. So if you're an analyst and you're looking on Indeed or a job engine, and you see a job for an analyst, right? Say it's at Google or wherever, you have a baseline salary that you're expecting. Maybe that salary is 80,000, 90,000, whatever it is. So you apply and you go through all the hoops, right? You're jumping through the hoops, you get the interview, and then months go by, and at the end of it, you realize they're not offering you anywhere near that salary. So you either have to take a huge loss in pay or you just continue your job search. So these pay transparency laws, they're trying to remove all of that. They're trying to make it easier for the job seeker. Well, the law that California passed was enacted this year. And this requires all companies that have at least 15 employees to start revealing their salaries when they're posting these jobs online. So this doesn't go for if you and your brother had a taco truck or a food truck, it doesn't apply to you. If you have like a lemonade stand, something real small, it's not gonna apply to you. But if you have a larger, a mid-sized to larger company, it definitely applies. So now we're seeing job postings. Let's look at Tesla. Tesla has a job posting right now in California for a software engineer. And the salary range is between 104,000 and 384,000 a year. Another position in Tesla as a business analyst is paying between 68,000 and $234,000 a year. And that is an enormous gap. That's a huge range. Can you imagine applying for a job thinking you're going to get paid for 150? You have in your head 150,000 a year, so you apply. And then they offer you 68 because that's the range, right? Who's going to apply to that? Some people are willing to move their families for 200,000 a year, but won't even put their pants on and get out of bed for 60,000. Many people feel like this is just a company's way to get around the law, to say, you know what, we're gonna keep our pay ambiguous. We're gonna keep it unclear so that we have the leverage. Why do companies hide pay? What they say is to maintain that strategic edge. So if they're paying a certain salary and they reveal it and their competitors see it, they can come in higher and steal the talent. That's what they say. A lot of people say they're trying to get labor on the cheap. The cheapest they can get the labor, that's what they want to get the labor. And it's not just Tesla. Let's look at another company in California, Netflix. Netflix has a job posting for a product manager between 80,000 and 700,000 a year. This almost seems like a joke. Like the executives at Netflix said, hey, California, we don't like this law. And this is what we're going to do about it. We're going to go around it so that we can still maintain a competitive edge when it comes to hiring our employees. And then we have TikTok, which when I first looked at this, I'm thinking, what do you mean TikTok's in California? Isn't TikTok a Chinese company? Yeah, it's a Chinese company, but they actually have a physical location in California. And guess what? They're hiring. So this job posting is for a software engineer, and they have a salary range between $100,000 and $300,000 a year. Another pretty large salary range for this position. To be fair, this also includes a lot of stock compensation, right? So it's hard to put an exact dollar figure on how much stock you're gonna receive because the price fluctuates. This also tells us that you are going to have to be willing to negotiate when you get to the table. You're gonna to need to be able to sell yourself. A lot of people struggle when it comes to negotiating on their behalf. They do not know what's a fair range. They can go to glassdoor.com, but when they're actually sitting in that office and they're having the discussion with HR or the hiring manager, it's difficult for them to really sell themselves to get the maximum amount that they're worth. So as of today, the compliance rate in California is only at 50% or a little bit above 50%. So we still have the remaining half of companies that have to comply for this law. Now, on first glance, I'm thinking, it looks like most companies are going to continue giving this large salary range. And I'm a little on the fence with this one. Do you think the law is meeting its intent? What do you think about these companies with these large salary ranges? Let me know down below. So California is not gonna be the only one. I think New York is gonna enact its law later this year. We have Washington State, Colorado. A lot of states are moving more towards this. But will it really be any help? Will it really do any good? That's the main question. 
Now, if you're watching this, you're still looking for a job, you might be curious to know why many people are refusing any and all jobs that are paying less than $74,000 a year. If you want to know that, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.